Hello, my name is Sally Ann Houghton. I work at Epic Games at the London Innovation Lab. My role at Epic is to be a conduit between Epic Games and the fashion industry. The best thing about my role is that we work and we live on the cutting edge of technology and creativity. And so we're often seeing and meeting with people that are doing things that have never been done before in this space. I'm Matthew Drinkwater, Head of the Fashion Innovation Agency at London College of Fashion. It's really clear that if you want a job in fashion once you finish studying, that those job roles are changing and that technology is playing a really big part in that. So whatever you're interested in, whether it's creating fashion, communicating fashion, selling fashion, technology will play a part in that in the future. Hi, so my name's Lucy Goodyear. I work at Burberry. I'm the senior manager of the CAD teams. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design. So what I love about using Computer Aided Design technology is it enables you to produce something in a really beautiful, sort of crisp way. Whereas I was never very good at drawing and so I used to get frustrated by how sketchy things would look to me and I wanted them to look technically beautiful and I found that I was able to do that much better with computer-aided design technology. So I taught myself to use Adobe Illustrator and that way I could produce really beautiful clean technical drawings and I realised I had a much bigger passion for that than the actual design itself. So I've ended up expanding on those technologies and over time learned more and more and more and that's led me to the path that I'm in today. Hi my name is Seema Kakadia and I'm the Digital Innovation Manager at Burberry. Within my role, I look after projects such as gaming, blockchain, social retail, and AR experiences. What this means is our team are responsible for activations that are more tech-driven. So for example, we are known for developing games in-house. This is now extending into working in long-term partnerships with big gaming agencies. I also work across developing immersive experiences for both dot-com, online, social media, as well as retail. A lot of the roles that I work in at the moment didn't really exist whilst I was at university. So I think it's also just worth noting that your dream role might not exist at this moment, but it could be something that develops in the future. My name is Kostas Kazantzis and currently I'm the creative technologist working in-house at the Fashion Innovation Agency. My role involves a lot of experimentation and research. I create mainly prototypes and proof of concepts in augmented reality, virtual reality, mixed reality, and also in 3D design. I think like one of the most rewarding parts is the fact that we are helping students and younger people to orient themselves in a never changing landscape because fashion is changing and it's gonna be changing more and more in the future. But also one thing that I really admire and love about my work is the fact that it's, I feel like I'm, I'm constantly doing research and learning new things which is something really important for me because it gives me not only the motivation, but also the happiness to do what I'm doing. So I'm Kerry Murphy. I'm the founder and CEO of The Fabricant. We are the world's first digital-only fashion house. The favorite part of my job is that every single day is completely different. Every day we get questions from fashion brands, from the gaming industry, from the blockchain industry, of how will digital only fashion actually affect their lives. And that to me is the biggest creative exercise to actually create a whole new industry. What allowed me to break into the fashion industry? A person with zero experience in the fashion industry was this idea of co-creation and collaboration. Something that 3D and visual effects industry is extremely good at. The sharing of knowledge, sharing of resources and assets. So simply coming up with this new mindset, me as a 3D designer, utilizing my skill set and tools from the 3D industry, co-creating with a fashion designer, utilizing her skill set and tools from the fashion industry, coming together with an open and curious mindset allowed for the fabricant to become the world's first digital only fashion house. I think every fashion brand will become a technology company. What is really key to every brand is having people in place who have an understanding of technology in every single area. So that will be across creation, through to showcasing, 
every executive will have to have an understanding of where technology plays a part. What is really fascinating is that there is an extreme number of resources available online. We have lots of students who basically self-taught themselves by watching YouTube tutorials. And gradually, as we move into the future, all of the interfaces and softwares that are being used to generate uh, these experiences are becoming more and more simplified because the goal is to basically make them accessible and for people to be able to use them easily. The technology in front of you, if you've never started, it can be quite overwhelming and you might think, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this, I don't know how to do this. But I think the most important thing to remember is everybody who is now an expert in this technology started off at the beginning and anyone is capable of doing this if they really want to do it. So there should be no barrier of like, I'm not good enough or I can't do this because you can absolutely do anything you want to put your mind to. It's accessible for everyone to do.